Hey, hey everyone, welcome to Luna Celine Creations. Today I'm gonna to do a quick video on uh, how to paint this abstract expressionist type guitar beer glass. You can do it on any type of glass. And uh, it's fun and easy little project. So here we go. So before I put the paint on, I do an outline with an oil-based Sharpie. Uh, I'll show you that here in a minute. But like with any glass painting project, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is clean your glass, make sure it's nice and clean. I use 70% uh, uh, alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and just give it a little squirt and then clean it with a uh, paper towel. Or you can use a lint-free cloth, uh, anything like that will work. Just This is just to make sure that the paint adheres um, properly and you don't have any fingerprints, grease mark, residue, you know, that type of thing. Okay, so one uh, little tip I have, uh, especially if you're gonna do a set of these, so do your first glass, do your outline, and then take your second glass and just, you know, try to line it up. It doesn't have to be perfect, but so they're all roughly starting at the same um, part. And then you're gonna start doing your outline. Uh, I start at the top. Uh, forgive me, I don't know all the proper names for all the parts of a guitar, <laughs> but I know this is the neck. So we do the, the top part first, and then make the neck go down. And then you just draw the body of the guitar. It's a really simple design. If you're not sure or you need a little help with the shape of it, just uh, pull up a picture, you know, on Google Images or whatever at Pinterest and, and to get some inspiration. And so you get your shape right. And then just draw the, the circle in the middle. So pretty simple. Again, I did, this is a set of four that I did. Um, and uh, I use different colors. You can use any colors you want. The one I'm going to show you in the uh, demonstration today, I used uh, turquoise and orange, various shades of those two are the main colors. And then a little bit of yellow. I think I put a little bit of pink in there as well. Um, and then at the end, I used some uh, midnight blue and some dark purple for some contrast. Okay, so we have some coral, we have some vivid orange, and we have a couple shades of turquoise, that's a darker one, and a lighter one. I'm using deco art glossy enamels, as well as some folk art. The enamel paints will give a little more of a glossy finish. Uh, of course, you always use a little white when you wanna lighten things up. And then the multi-surface paints like these from Folk Art um, or Americana, they just give a little more of a flat uh, finish when it's done. But you can use either as long as you're using paint that's uh, specifically made for glass. Um, you can also use like uh, stained glass type paints. I haven't worked with those yet. Uh, I think the brand name is PBO, P-E-B-E-O. Um, and those look really interesting too, the, the effects that I've seen. But anyway... Hopefully a future video I will, uh, I'll be able to show you what those are all about because they look really, really cool when they're done. So we just take a little bit of um, the turquoise and the oranges, put it on our fancy little palette. And I'm gonna be using a liner brush because I find that with these uh, designs, it's just, it's nice to get in there and just use a little bit of paint at a time because a little bit of this paint goes a long way. If you put too much or a too big of a brush, I, for me, I just find I don't have the control and the precision that I need. So I just use a nice, nice skinny liner brush. And then we go ahead and start uh, applying our paint. I'm gonna start with the oranges and just go with the shape. Um, first, you're gonna do the outline and uh, then we're gonna fill it in. And remember, it's abstract. It doesn't have to look perfect and that's the the reason i love this technique is because you know anybody can do this it's it's not realistic i don't i don't think i could draw or paint a realistic guitar myself i don't think i'm you know i'm not a fine artist right i, I love to do um abstract things and and i love the expressionism um style with with the colors um you know melding and 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 then not melding <laughs> um, and just uh, 
you know, go with the flow. Have fun with this. And if you make a mistake, you just, uh, you wipe it off and start over, you know. But I'm just giving you a rough, uh, rough idea how to do these uh, glasses. And um, the original idea uh, came from a friend of mine. She wanted a gift for her daughter's guitar teacher. And she had sent me something off of Pinterest, like, can you do this? And it was more like a sticker type of a graphic, de uh, like a decal. And I'm like, well, I can't do that, but I can probably do something a little abstracty. And then this idea was sort of born out of that. So uh, now I actually have a few more orders for, for these. So for music lovers, guitar players, you know, uh, anybody like that in your life that loves guitar or music makes a great gift and I'm just gonna speed this up guys and uh, you know walk you through the process I don't want to keep you here all day but uh, I may interject and give some tips and pointers as we go but this will give you a, a good idea of how I go about doing these glasses and how you can do them for yourself Okay, so once your outline is complete, you're going to start filling in uh, the body of the guitar. And I'm going to start with the orange. So take your liner brush and start filling in little areas with the orange. It's almost like a patchwork the way these are done. So you can do like a crosshatch kind of a technique. Some of the strokes are going to go vertically, some are going to go horizontally, and then of course around the, uh, the hole in the guitar, it's, you just follow the curve of the circle. One thing I do want to mention, when you're working with this type of paint on glass, once it starts to dry and get tacky a little bit, you have to be real careful um, not to overwork it because the paint will start to come off. While it's wet, you can move it around and do what you want. Um, but once it starts to dry, the paint will actually start to lift if you overdo it. So just be careful of that. If you want to fix something later or change something, come back when it's completely dry. So here I've added a little bit of a white and I'm going in. I actually uh, added in a little bit of yellow as well. And just use your different colors that you have. And then for the contrast, you're going to start going in with your turquoise. So I started with the lighter turquoise here and filling in that little curve. And again, a little bit of a cross hatching technique. Looks really neat. Um, it's not gonna be completely filled in one color, right? And that's, that's the way that this uh, technique is. You use opposing colors from the color wheel, which, is, uh, which look good. Like you wouldn't do, you know, all oranges or all greens or all turquoise or all one color you want the op opposite colors just because uh, it's appealing to the eye it's appealing visually and uh, just experiment with your colors
So go ahead and use your white um, to make highlights. Um, you can just put little dabs here and there um, all around, just uh, as the light would reflect. And then on the neck, just make some little horizontal lines um, on there to represent the frets, I guess they're called. And then I forgot to mention on the top part, also put the, I think they're called pegs. Oh, any guitar players out there can comment please and tell me the proper names because I'm probably messing that up. But you know what I mean, the things that you turn to tighten the, the guitar strings. Uh, and they don't have to be perfect. Again, it's an abstract thing, right? Mine are kind of crooked and funky looking. So here I'm taking the lighter turquoise and just uh, filling in some of the top with that, a few more lines. And then afterwards I'll put the little dots. Uh, I had to look up a picture to find the placement of the dots to get an idea of how they were. Again, not a musician, but uh, it's starting to come together now, right? You can kind of see how your finished product is going to look. And this is the part that I really like when it starts, starts to come together and your vision is, uh, you know, coming to life. the yellow in here uh, it sort of started to blend with the turquoise and uh, turned into like a nice sea green color I thought that looked pretty cool uh, you can always go back after a day like let it dry for a day go back to it and then you'll be able to you know just instinctually you know see what it needs uh, there might be parts where the paint looks a little thin and you can uh, fill in those spots but again, like there's no right or wrong way to do this. Yours is not gonna look like mine and exactly, and that's fine. I'm just trying to give you an idea. Uh, the middle part I filled in uh, at the end with a, I made it a little bit darker. And then you can do some lines, some really fine lines across that hole um, to represent the strings, or you can leave them out. Um, if you do them, just make sure they're really, really thin. Um, so yeah, that's how I did this one. And uh, at the very end, I went in with a uh, dark purple and uh, a little bit of a midnight blue and did some more uh, accents, a little bit of highlights and detailing. But unfortunately, that part of the video wouldn't load. <laughs> so this is as far as I can show you on this, um, but you'll see some of the pictures in the of the finished product right here. Okay, so here's how it turned out. The one on the right is the one we just did. As you can see, the dark purple in there, the midnight blue, uh, it turned out really cool and funky. I also did another one with some greens, yellows, and oranges uh, for a Green Bay Packer fan in my family. Uh, this is the set I did for the guitar teacher, which was the original glass idea. Uh, one on a stemless wine glass and one on a tall beer glass. And this one, I think turned out excellent and it's just sitting in my cupboard, it's not for anyone. So if you wanna buy it, just uh, message me. This one, I did not do the top part of the guitar. It just cuts off at the lip of the glass. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I really wanna thank you for watching and uh, do us a favor and hit that like button, hit the subscribe for me. And uh, if you wanna see more content like this and don't wanna miss a video, hit that notification bell as well. From all of us here at Luna Celine Creations, cheers and have a great day. We'll see you in the next one.